Singapore, Mr. Li Xian Yang and Dr. Li Wei Ling's comments on Tuesday, April 3, in response to the report on 38 Oxley Road will be lodged with the Cabinet Secretary for a future government's reference, said the Ministerial Committee on the matter. In a statement, the Ministerial Committee said, both Mr. LHY and Dr. LWL's earlier statements, as well as their response dated April 3, 2018, will be lodged with the Cabinet Secretary, together with this statement, so that these two can be referred to by a future government. The Lee siblings had earlier on Tuesday disagreed with Monday's report by the committee, which laid out options for 38 Oxley Road, saying it was their further leap on news wish for the house to be demolished after his death. Mr. Lee wrote on Facebook that his father wanted demolition unwaveringly, and was forced to consider other options because his eldest son, Prime Minister Lee Shien Long, had given the false impression that the family home would inevitably be gazetted as a heritage site. Following his comments, the Ministerial Committee reiterated that views expressed by the two Lee siblings had already been carefully weighed by the committee. It added, as we have said, the committee relied on three key objective documents from Mr. Lee Kuan Yew which gave concrete expression to his thinking and wishes regarding the property. The evidence includes the demolition clause. In the late Mr. Lee's last will, his letter to the cabinet dated December 27, 2011, as well as the renovation and redevelopment plans for 38 Oxley Road which he submitted to the Urban Redevelopment Authority in March 2012, and obtained approval for. As we noted in our report, there is no need to decide now. The various options in the report are meant to help a future government make an informed and considered decision when the need arises, said the committee on Tuesday. Read, dispute over 38 Oxley Road, a timeline of events.